Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I wanted to get up on here and tell you guys, not as if you all don't know. And if you don't know, you should know. So let me tell y'all what's going on. It's a lot of strange things going on about the children. Notice self, sex trafficking, everything, even in Africa, genocide, where they're selling their daughters and their sons to older men. So I want to show y'all what's going on. So y'all can really break it down. School bus driver asked kids if they were ready to die. So this just happened on the 22nd. So check this out. Breaking new updates now in that deadly Tennessee school bus crash that happened on Monday. CBS News reporting just moments ago that a mom of three of the kids on that bus was told that the driver asked the kids if they were, quote, ready to die just before the crash. Now, one of her children is among the five students killed yesterday, five others in the ICU right now. The driver, said to be 24-year-old John Anthony Walker, is charged with five counts of vehicular homicide and might have been driving too fast and recklessly when he hit that tree yesterday. Huh. Okay, so now y'all think that's just happening. I really believe that there's MK Ultra. What is that? He looks like he's in another world. Y'all y'all think those chips are not real. Y'all gotta look, y'all gotta Google this stuff. Y'all gotta find out. Um look at Divergent. Look at different movies. Those chips actually make you do things. <sighs> MK Ultra make you do things, man. Let, let me let me go a little bit further. Let me y'all remember this movie? Those that are my age probably do. Y'all remember this movie, Children of the Corn? Y'all remember this? Children of the Corn? I'm going somewhere. Walk with me. I'm going somewhere. Now, do you, if you remember Children of the Corn, it talks about how they were killing their parents. Now, this was 20 years ago. And how, notice is in a cross. I'm going somewhere. So what God was showing me is that there's a demonic assignment against our children to turn against us. There's a demonic assignment against our children. They want the children. They don't care about us. They don't care about us. They want our organs. That's it. But they want the children so they can sacrifice them, so they can sexually misuse them because they're stronger. They're stronger than us, you know, as we get older. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm going somewhere. These people are not playing, but let me, let's go here. What they really doing. Molech. False God, Molech, bear abortion child. Molech, also spelled Molech. It is a biblical source with the practice of child sacrifice. Y'all understand what's happening here? That's what's really going on. They're sacrificing our children. I don't know if y'all understand what's happening, but I'm telling you right now, you better get a clue. Y'all better pray over your cities. You better pray over your towns. You better pray over your children. Y'all sitting up there playing these games. Quit worrying about money. Quit worrying about honey. Quit worrying about funny. It is time for us to pray over our cities, our towns, our country. This is real. You know, and I'm going to tell you how po most people think, well, it, it ain't my family. So, you know, whatever. But when it hit home, you crying. Oh, uh, come on, somebody. I'm just being real. It, it doesn't make any sense. This this dude asked them. And if y'all think that's normal and I'm so tired of y'all, oh, that's mental. Ain't no mental illness. That's a spirit. That's a demonic entity. And that's what's wrong with half of the, the world um, trying to make something in intellectual. And be honest with you, that, that's what's wrong with the body of Christ. And I'm not trying to attack education, but I'm going to call it like it is. Y'all so educated until y'all have no knowledge of the spiritual realm. And then when somebody talk about the spiritual realm, oh, y'all want to try to analyze it. What you going to analyze? How you going to analyze that? Spiritual things tend to spiritual things and carnal tend to carnal things. So point blank in the story. God said, pray, 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 pray. I don't care what you say, pray. But now your prayer, the Bible says the prayer of the righteous at valid much. You got to be right when you pray. If you ain't right, then you don't understand what I'm saying anyway. Sound like mumbo jumbo to you. <sighs> so when I saw this again, I was like, oh, my heart was just like, wow. So now these kids had to suffer. Can you imagine being told, are you ready to die? And then all of a sudden you crash. Now, only five children was killed. But what about the rest of them? That's that's going to be on their mind for a minute. So now they're going to have to give them what? Some kind of help. Hopefully spiritual help. Oh, God have mercy. Am I the only one that this stuff get to like this? <laughs> All right. Well, God bless you. God keep you. Just, you know, we have to, we're, we're the watchmen and the watchmen. 
watch women. We have to stay on it. It's not about trying to make people in fear or bringing up just sad news. It's like the world and the church has almost become one to where it's all about entertainment and fun. No, it's about praying. It's about delivering people, healing people. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. This stuff is real. Oh, uh, yeah, them babies were scared. You know that. And so, um, and they're going to they gonna lay him down. Y'all know that. So just pray and pray for him because it doesn't make sense. People just don't do this. People just don't do this. You can say what you want to say. People just don't do this. All right. So God bless you. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.